There's no if, ands, or buts about it. We're winning this time. And you know what? We're not even gonna go shovel. We're not gonna go shovel. No one likes shovel. Okay, shovel. I was supposed to go a blood goober that entire time as well, and I forgot about that. I just got reminded because I just saw this goober. I do like an on sale goober though. On sale goober saves lives. We're gonna get that. <laughs> Two blades and a staff as fast as possible. I like the idea of that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And the armor? Yeah, we did get the armor. I feel like that was gonna be a little bit too much greed, though. Did I get you? I'll reserve you. I don't know. Because I want to do this. I'm gonna get you. You know, just roll with this, I guess. It's not horrible. Isn't unhealing better with the lock lifter? You know, you might be completely correct. I personally, personally, I just love me a, a, a infinite heat generation unhealing build. That's my favorite one. I like that one over Lock Turner Lock Lifter. I like that one over Cauldron. I just have had the best experience and the best success with that build. Now, I don't know if it's the better one. I just, I am extremely biased. Extremely biased, and I just say it's the better one. It could very much be not the, the not the better one. But I am extremely biased. <laughs> yeah. Infinite Vamp is also good. I didn't even think about Infinite Vamp. Is that why you're saying like unhealing staff, infinite vampirism with two uh, hungry blades? That sounds pretty insane. Mr. I pull off a staff of unhealing reliability. <laughs> The mana, the mana is the pitiful to often. You need many mana potions. I need mana potions. I do not need mana potions. For an unhealing build? <laughs> Best heat is with giraffes, pyro badge. Why pyro badge though? Oh, yeah. he's talking about a different build. Heat with unhealing is an awesome. Listen, 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 listen. I think it's Okay, me! It's my favorite. I will not tolerate this slander against the best unhealing build in the game, okay? Your slander is prohibited. <laughs> it is the best, and I will prove it now. I wish I could go against another unhealing build, though. Like, rocking an unhealing build and going against another unhealing build. That would be so nice to just test and see who comes out on top. I wouldn't mind that. I should probably get rid of these stones. I don't really need a, uh, a bag of stones, right? I'm kind of sitting really nice right now. Yeah, I'm not going to get a bag of stones. I feel like I'm sitting pretty nice. So I'm just going to get this. <laughs> the max health from the mana potions counts as healing, so unhealing does damage with it. Does it? I actually didn't know that. If that's true, I actually don't know. But I'm not gonna knock it. I'm not gonna knock it because I actually don't know. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, never mind. It loses a lock lifter and healing. Crystallize dist our opinions too. Don't take it personally. I know, right? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Crystallize is just trying to educate us. That's all. Trying to let us know and, and you know, trying to get us to be better. That's all. Should I get this box of riches on an unhealing build? Nah, I don't need it. Unhealing style can't even, you know, it doesn't even have a jewel slot. I should definitely not get that. What is this? A mana torch blood door? Jesus Christ. My man's is cooking too. And a blood thorn mana thirst. I don't think I've ever seen that. Going to YouTube, battery going down. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What is how does the I I am in confusion. You may not have enough stamina for unhealing and vampirism blade. No, because uh relic case, the um your weapons have less stamina, so. But yeah. What is your favorite Reaper build? I keep thinking y'all talking to me. You're not talking to me. I have no friends. <laughs> I should probably move this. Or these. Uh 3.8. 
think we're fine. I keep forgetting I have a goober. I have a whole goober here. That I should probably start paying attention to. This build's not bad so far. We got two toads? That sucks. But we do have two toads. Two toads is nice. Yeah, we lost. Ouch. That's fine, though. Because now we're about to cook. Giraffe. What I tell you guys? What I tell you guys? What I tell you guys? You didn't listen to me. You didn't listen to me. Blood goober. Blood goober. Blood goober. It's happening. It is happening. I think I'm just gonna... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now we need to just get the... the... Whoa. Four? Three? Three claws of attacks? And a hungry blade? Alrighty. That is something. Three claws of attack and a hungry blade. That a third one? Should I greed? I'm a greed. Yeah, I'm a greed. I'm a greed. Alright, we can't greed after this though. We can't greed after this. Unhealing vampiric with staff and two hungry blades. So infinite vampirism, basically, right? With staff and two hungry blades. We need more giraffes. <laughs> that went really well. But yeah, we definitely need more giraffes. So, I think we... This could be nice. A nice chunk? It's only five gold. We're gonna get it. Man. I forgot we needed a hungry blade this entire time. This entire time, I completely forgot we needed a hungry blade. But this is low key perfect timing, though. Maybe I should get it this round, actually. And I can just get rid of Shell Totem. I don't need Shell Totem anymore. I can get rid of Shell Totem. Probably just get rid of... No, I'm keeping the customer card, actually. Keeping the customer card. Because maybe it can help me get the potion. Um, so... I'm just about... I don't know what to get rid of, actually. May I just get rid of a piggy? I thought that's not the best choice. I'm gonna get rid of a piggy though. Even though I don't think it's the best choice, I'm gonna just be Nike and do it. Let me get that. Okay, the build is coming together for the most part. That is a lot of spikes. We might lose this. I lied. The bill is coming together flawlessly. That is not what we wanted. That is what we want. Um, another giraffe would be nice. I'll take this though, because these are just good. Those are just good no matter what. Another mana? really need you. I have my mana generation is pretty solid. My mana generation is real good. We got three of those and two BBs. I should probably get it, shouldn't I? Should I get it next round? I think I'm just gonna get it next round. Versus a chain whip, huh? Berserker mode is gonna be crazy though. Oh, I lied. I lied. Mesa Struggles is just a Berserk mod without the damage reduction. <laughs> F region. I don't know, right? Thorn is too expensive, stamina-wise, with unheal. It's better to have two hungerlies versus one thorn. 
That sounds pretty valid, not going to lie. Thank you. Now, if I could just, like, theoretically speaking, I was going to say something I forgot. I forgot what I was going to say. I forgot what I was going to say. Should I just put this in here? For the 5% increase in damage? Oh, I want another Halo Fire thing. That's what I was going to say. If I could just theoretically get another one of those. It'd be really nice. But now that we have double giraffes, we should be fine. We still don't even have the staff, though. We kind of need that. Like, we're cooking. And we're healing. But we need that staff. Do I pick this up? Sure, why not? I'll pick it up. I don't mind. It could be fun. Next round. Please. Please give me the potion. It's round 13 and no potion. Wow. Why if why why do people do this? Oh, I guess that's why. When he's triggered, yeah. Right? Is this the best way to set this potion situation up? Just like like Christmas tree it? Or is it better just to do like, you know, the stamina potions and then just the health potions under it? But like not like exactly like that, but like, you know, two health potions standing up, stamina potion, and so on and so forth. Do the chunk? The chunk. What about the chunk? Oh, put the artifact of cold on the chunk. I'm not gonna get this unhealing staff until like round 50. No, I should do. I should do like this. That kind of sucks though, how that's like that, but I mean. It'll be okay. This is only giving us one every time it hits anyways. It's not like a lot versus these, which are giving us three the same cooldown. So it'll be fine. I think I'd rather have the cold. Loves a power, the dark saber, and you're destroying my buffs. You got three of those things. We should be fine though. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Another one. We're gonna have to rearrange. Bro, I'm not getting an unhealing staff. <laughs> like, it's just not gonna happen. It is not happening. A rabbit is crucial for stamina generation. All right, let's, uh, let's reset again. Okay, so. I think I'm actually going to separate this giraffe situation. Yeah. I'm going to separate the giraffes. Um, let's see what we can do here, though. So I want to do this and that. And then we could just simply put two blueberries on this. That works fine with me. Um... And then we want a chunk, right? To go up here. And then we want this guy right there. And then we want... I guess we'll put it here. That'll work. Or, I mean, well... Actually, yeah, we could move the chunk and just put the chunk down here. That'll still work. Even better, I guess. Yeah, okay, cool. And then we got all this free space over here, which is kind of what I wanted. And this free space is going to be completely for the toads. So we'll go boom. I might switch this up still. Eventually.
I might even, you know what? Yeah, let me get this. All right, all for the toads. For the toads, for the horde. All for the toads. And then, uh, I guess we'll just do that and then that. All right, that looks good. All right, but next round, kinda. I don't like how that is, but whatever. Next round, we're W keying though for that uh, for that <laughs> for the potion. We don't have luck for four giraffes. <laughs> You're right. We don't. <laughs> hey, we actually don't. But I mean, we just need better mana generation, I think, so that once if we get better mana generation. So that the blueberries can start generating us clovers, because the blueberries aren't really generating us clovers. Because we just don't have the mana generation like that. So we probably need to get some more mana orbs. Or maybe figure out a better... This is better, actually. Because the ruby chunk is only a 2.1. This is a 2.1. At least it's also on the toad. Unless I move that there. And just say, uh, yeah. Fuck Mrs. Struckers. <laughs> I don't want to say that, though. I'm gonna put you somewhere on the staff. I guess I could put a blueberry there. Better than nothing. And now for an activation combo. There we go. That works. Yeah, that works. That looks good to me. Double axe, huh? Hmm? Hmm? Oh my gosh. All right, well, that happened. Now, if we had the unhealing staff, like we do now, that would have been a different story, okay? In a whole different story. We definitely should not, wow. That's like almost perfect star slots. But no. I need mana generation, yes. Reputing you. Man, that would be way better spot. Uh. Can I do that, actually? I can't. I guess we'll put it there. It's not bad. All right, I guess next round we'll just W key. Oh, yeah, I should roll without cards. You're right. God damn it. I should have done that. You just don't have regen for the hungry blade. I didn't even think about regen. Flute cell is good. You think we'll need it though? I assume you you're saying for the clovers, but you think we'll need it? We got another mana orb, so all the blueberries <laughs> should be able to generate us uh, clovers now. Unless double mana orb isn't enough mana generation. No, it's definitely, look at our mana generation. It's definitely enough to the point where we're actually got too much mana. And now we're gonna generate infinite heat. Yeah. Yeah, we got too much mana generation now. And you have that thing inside of a what? Wow. <laughs> I just realized what we just beat. I've never seen a cold build with artifact of stone cold inside of a stone bag on a freaking frostbite. Yeah, the flute is free. Yeah. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Let's see, how much clovers did it generate us? Two. It gave us two. <laughs> two. I guess we try to get more uh, region then. Um, or you know what? Maybe I could like try to do that to get more heat at the start Ooh. of the battle. Or I get me a prismatic orb by selling customer card and flute. That'll be five gold and I need one more. 
Do you play other games? Some roguelike games is very easy to play and watch. Should do it to improve the audience. I completely agree with you. The thing is, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. The thing is, I two things. One is if I play another roguelike game, I'm going to want to make YouTube videos on it. And I don't think I have enough time for that. Realistically, what would have to like what would realistically have to happen is that I would have to grow a big enough audience where I would have to like work less hours at work and dedicate more time to content creation in order to like add another game to the catalog of games that I play and try to make content on. And then I could stream longer. I can make more videos, you know, stuff like that. But I just don't have enough time in my hands to dedicate to like two games at one time. Um, but yeah. Customer card and bags. Play The Binding of Isaac. I was thinking about it. The OG, the OG game of OGness. OG game of OGness. <laughs> Why does that sound bad? Oh, I think I'm going to put it here. Actually, this might not be, this might be bad. This is giving me eight uh, region at the start of the game. But then again, this is just going to use it. I just hope I don't get infinite mana at the start of the game. I want infinite heat. That's the whole purpose of this. <laughs> That's a fair build. Let's see here. Yeah, we get 10. Nah, we're getting infinite vampirism. Well, maybe the cards can help with that. We'll see what happens. Okay, never mind. We're fine. False alarm. False alarm. You think you're, you think you're safe? You think you're safe with your, 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 your invincibility, huh? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Far from it. Far from it! I don't think Hungry Blade did anything here, by the way. Yeah. I fucking... The Toad did more damage than the Sword did, bro. <laughs> Hungry Blade didn't do anything here. Loki, neither did Blood Goober. But to be fair, if I kind of like W keyed more prismatic orbs to get more vampirism, it might have done something a little bit better or something. 